بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Continuing on in our treaties, the study of Aqidat Wasatiya by Shaykh Al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. We reach a portion of the treaties where Shaykh Al Islam was detailing the Ahl Sunnah that they adhere to the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and that they prefer the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, to all that. Uh, to, to anything to anything else that that is the guidance that's a preference Ahlul Sunnah they prefer what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was upon to anything else that when we look at our scholars and when we look at other people and, and if, to determine whether they're from the Oliya as we mentioned in the last dars is that if they are adhering to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's the only way they could be the Oliya there's no way someone from Ahlul Bid'ah can be from the Oliya because why they've mis they've misguided people and they followed other than the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and so when we look and we determine and we want to know who Ahl Sunnah is, who the Oliya of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala are, then we have to see whether they're on the tariqah of Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, not the tariqah of Naqshbandi, the tariqah of. Uh, all uh, Chechwardi and uh, are they Brayrui, are they uh, Diobandi, or any of these other various groups and sects. But rather, we look at the tariqah of Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's, that's, that's who our Imam is. That's who our leader, that's who we adhere to. We adhere to his sunnah, not the sunnah of Kabbani or the sunnah of any of those other Sufi people. People who call people to other than the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu who encourage you to take the bay'ah to their Imam, encourage you to take the bay'ah to their their Sheikh or their Marid or what have you. But rather our adherence is to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Shaykh Islam said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala ثم من طريقة أهل السنة والجماعة اتباع آثر الرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم باطنا وظاهرا. May Allah forgive us for our shortcomings. I mean, Sheikh Islam رحمه الله تعالى said this also forms the ways of أهل السنة والجماعة that they follow the they follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in both outwardly and inward sense and adopt the path of those who became the first of the believers the Muhajirin and the Ansar and they obey the will of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which he said is obligatory on you that after I am no more you adopt my Sunnah and the ways of the Sahaba who have received guidance from me radiallahu ta'ala anhum catch hold of it and hold it firmly with your clenched teeth and guard yourselves from the acts of innovation for every innovation is misguidance. This is the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, in which the Prophet ﷺ said, "Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-khulafa rashidin al-mahdiin min ba'di. Tamasku biha wa adu alayha bi nawajid wa iyaqo muhtathir al-mur fa inna kulla muhtathat bid'a wa kulla bid'at dalala." And this is the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ where he warned us against misguidance and deviance and bid'ah and those things which go and adhering to groups and sects which do not form and have any basis in his sunnah alayhi salatu wasalam. Ahl sunnah know that the most truthful statement is the statement of Allah and the best way of life is that of Muhammad wasallam. They give preference to the statement of Allah over all kinds of statements of others than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They give primacy to the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam over the guidance of everyone else. That is the reason why they are called Ahl Kitabi wa Sunnah, the people of the Quran and the Sunnah. They are also called Ahl Jama'ah, 
the, 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 the group. This is because Jama is the other term for Ijma, which is the opposite of schisms and sectarianism and Hezbiya. Although the word Jama was coined for denoting all those who assemble. And Ijma is the third base of Sharia. On it, reliance is placed without knowledge and relig- uh, about re- knowledge and religion. Meaning that part of the Sharia, the Dalil, the evidences for doing things First is the Quran, and then you have the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then you have the Ijma of the Ummah, meaning the Ijma of the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. They're the first uh, Ijma, and then the Ijma of the Ulama after them in, in those various times. What the Ijma, the Ijma of the Ummah, of, of the Ulama, that forms a Dalil. That is part of evidence for doing an action or holding uh, knowing and understanding something about Islam. First we have the Quran, the Sunnah, and then the Ijma. Those are all various forms of evidence when it comes to practicing Islam. And Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, Ahl sunnah evaluate these three principles, all the external, internal words and deeds which people follow about the religion. Meaning that we use those things to make judgments about what is right and correct. What's in accordance with the Sunnah. We, we look to see what is in adherence with the Quran. What's in adherence to the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam? What's in adherence to the Ijma of this Ummah? Is the creed of the Asharis? Is that in adherence with that? Is the Mu'tazila? Is that in adherence to that? Is the Jahmiya? Is that in adherence to that? Is the Khawarij belief of making takfir the leaders in takfir the their bro- brother Muslims? Is that in accordance with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi wa Ijma of Salaf Asali? I don't think so. I don't think we'll find that. We, don't, we won't find that the Murji's creed has consensus upon. But instead, you'll only find the consensus of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'a's creed, the Salaf of this Ummah, Salaf al Saleh, the Salafiyun, Ahl Kitabullah, wa Ahl Sunnat al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Those people who follow Kitabullah, wa Sunnat al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, believe in it, hold it as their creed, hold it as their minhaj, hold it as their fiqh, their jurisprudence, and how they practice the deen. And unfortunately, كَمَا قَالَ الشَّيْخَ الْإِسْلَامِ ibn Taymiyyah, The right ijma is that which is the stance of the, vit, of the salaf of this ummah. For after them, differences multiplied in the Islamic community got uh, divided. And that's what the Prophet Sallallahu described for us. قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ the Jews would break into 70, 71 sects, the Christians would break into 72 sects, and my nation would break into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And then the companions asked, oh, and who are they, Ya Rasulullah? And the Prophet وسلم, said, those who are upon my sunnah, and the sunnah of my rightly guided uh, companions, or uh, my companions. So the Prophet وسلم, let us know that his sunnah was to be adhered to. And that the sunnah of the sahaba, the ijma of the sahaba, the creed of the sahaba, because the sahaba didn't differ in creed. The sahaba, you didn't find ashadis amongst the sahaba. You didn't find khadris amongst the sahaba. You didn't find khawarij amongst the sahaba. You didn't find murjia amongst the sahaba. You didn't find the jahmiya amongst the sahaba. You didn't find the mu'tazila amongst the sahaba. And other than this, or rather you find the sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum majma'in, all of them, were upon the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And with regards to creed, with regards to manners, with regards to fadl, with regards to minhaj, and all of those things, we adhere to what they were upon. With regards to fiqh, you'll find that some issues that they didn't have ij, ij, uh, ijtima, uh, ijma'an, that they didn't have a full consensus on. So perhaps you'll find some differences here and some differences there. So we follow that which is most in accordance with the evidence of the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the ijma of the Sahaba. If there was no ijma, what was the main, uh, the majority upon the Jamhur? So this is how we understand our religion. This is the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And this is some of what Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala was getting at in this statement. Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah in his books, it is Fatawa, Mijmu'ah Fatawa, and his books, his various books, 
has so much uh, benefit for us and left a wealth of knowledge and that's why they call him Sheikh al-Islam even though they burned his books even though they put him in prison Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala left us a, a treasure a plethora of knowledge and as we found that even in this treatise alone Aqidah Tawasatiyah we found and we've learned so much by teaching it and learn so much by hopefully by listening to it bi idnillah ta'ala and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam